What's up guys, not Super Mario here and welcome to today's video. As a fan of football and everything football related, I'm here to predict the UEFA Championship League. Just the group stages, because I, I think it's the best to start with group stages. I'm doing this because UEFA Champions League starts in less than two weeks and I'm gonna watch a few games and uh, the predictions for World Cup did really well last year for Euro Cup or two years ago, I don't know, I've, I've been doing this for a really long time, so I'm here to predict it and let's begin. So in Group A we have Atletico Madrid, Borussia Dortmund, Club Bruges and Monaco. Monaco. I say Monaco, it's probably Monaco. Uh, this one I think it's pretty much straightforward. I think that Monaco can be this hidden horse that can surprise people. They have a few really good players, but I think Atletico Madrid is gonna take this group with our own Jan Oblak in the goal. So yeah, Atletico Madrid first, Borussia Dortmund second, Monaco third and Club Brush from Belgium fourth. But like I said, Monaco can take it. Group B is Barcelona Internazionale or Inter. PSV Eindhoven from Netherlands and Tottenham Hotspur. This one I think is one of the most tough group in the UEFA this year. Championship League, however you want to say it. Uh, Barcelona, if they're not first, they, they're gonna, not that if they're not first, but they're gonna compete against Tottenham for first place. I think Barcelona and Tottenham are gonna go through. It's really tough. To, I, I'm gonna go and say Tottenham is gonna be first, Barcelona is gonna be second, and then Inter has bought a lot of new players. They did it last year, did not really help. They did it again. I don't know how how much is gonna help. They they are coming back to UEFA Champions League uh, after I don't know how many years. I think it's been five, six years. I think. Uh, who's gonna take the third place? I don't really know. This one is a tough group. There could be some surprises, but I think Tottenham is gonna be first. Barcelona second, yeah. Third one, I'm going for PSV and fourth, Inter. Group C, we've got Red Star, Belgrade or Cervena Zvezda. Zvezda, Zvezda. Uh, Liverpool, Napoli, Paris Saint-Germain. Again, tough group, really tough group. I think that Red Star, Belgrade, Cervena Zvezda can be a really tough opponent, really tough opponent. Uh, ah, Liverpool is gonna take this group. They are playing really well. They they were in the final last year. They lost, unfortunately. I was rooting for them, but they lost. Napoli is really good. Paris Saint-Germain made some amazing uh, like additions and they've got a lot of money so they can spend it. Uh, if Liverpool and Paris Saint-Germain don't go through, this is gonna be a big surprise. But again, Napoli, they, they are really, really good. They are always in the top three, top two in Serie A. I think it's Italian League called something like that. I think it is. Correct me in the comments down below. Uh, they've got really like, they've got, who? oh my gosh, what is his name? Insigne, like he's amazing. But Liverpool is gonna be first, Paris Saint-Germain second, Napoli third and Cervana Zvezda or Red Star Belgrade because you have to uh, translate it into English is gonna be. Group D, we've got FC Porto, Schalke 04. I don't know, is there a reason for 04? Were they like uh, created or funded, founded in 2004 or maybe 1904? I don't know, tell me in the comments down below. Galatasaray from Turkey and Lokomotiv Moscow from Russia, of course. This one doesn't have any big, big clubs but there's a lot of great players in those clubs. FC Porto, Schalke, Galatasaray. This one is really tough to predict. I think Schalke is gonna be first, in my opinion. They did really well last year in the Bundesliga. Uh, FC Porto is always really good. They won Championship League in, what was, 2004 with Mourinho, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but lately they were struggling to get out of the group stages because they always got some really tough opponents but this year maybe maybe they can get through uh, but yeah i think schalke is gonna take it fc porto second galatasaray third and Lokomotiv moscow fourth but this one is really tough because they are really these teams are really even so we'll see group e we've got ayek from athens 
Ajax, Amsterdam, Benfica from Portugal and Bayern Munich. Big supporter of Bayern Munich, so I'm going for them. They're gonna be first. For the third place, if I'm just looking at the names of the clubs, I would say Benfica, but I don't know why. It's been a long time since Ajax, I think, was in Championship League or did something really amazing in Championship League. So why the heck not? I'm going with Ajax second, Benfica third, and I'm sorry, Egg from, oh, however you pronounce it, from Athens fourth. Group F, we've got Lyon, Manchester City, Shakhtar, Donetsk, and TSG Hoffenheim. Manchester City needs to take this. If they are not first, this is gonna be the biggest surprise ever. In my opinion, they've got one of the best players in the whole world in their club. Uh, they actually uh, uh, draw one game in Premier League this year already, because last year I think they lost only one game and draw two or something like that. Not sure, correct me in the comments down below again, because yeah, no, I'm not as knowledgeable I, as I should be to predict this, but I, I'm doing anyway. But yeah, Manchester City needs to take this one. I, I, they need to be at least in semi-finals of the Championship League in my opinion, but who knows? Manchester City first for the second place. I don't know Lyon and all other teams really well, just based on the name of the club and how well do I know them, I would say Lyon second, but you never know with those teams. Shakhtar Nets could be a really nice surprise, also Hoffenheim, uh, but uh, let's go Shakhtar Donetsk second, why not? Let's make it a surprise thing and Shakhtar Donetsk second, Lyon third and I'm sorry Hoffenheim, but you need to be fourth. Group G, we've got CSKA Moscow or how I would say in Slovenian CSKA Moscow uh, or Moskva, we would say Moskva. Anyway, Real Madrid, S Rama and Victoria Polzen. I think Victoria Polzen got through the um, qualifications. Uh, Real Madrid has to be second, uh, not second, has to be first. Yeah, they lost Cristiano Ronaldo, but I don't think that's gonna really matter a lot, especially in this group. And Roma has some amazing players. They were in the semifinals last year, so they've got a really nice group to get through. I'm sorry, Seska Moscow and Victoria Polson, but I think you're gonna be defeated. But to predict the right order, Real Madrid first, AS Roma second, Seska Moscow, third and Victoria Paulsen for it. And now we've got the last group, Group H. We've got Juventus with, now Cristiano Ronaldo, of course, Manchester United, Valencia and Young Boys. I think Young Boys are from Switzerland, if I'm correct. This one, again, tough. Like, I'm rooting for Manchester United and Bayern Munich always, but at this moment, Manchester United are pure shite. I'm sorry, but they are. They lost against Brighton. They they lost against Tottenham. Yeah, they play well, but you need to score goals if you want to do something. Uh, the last game, I think they won 2-0 against Watford or something. But yeah, they are not doing well. And this group, I think it's going to be tough for them. They, are, they, they will struggle, in my opinion. Juventus, not even consider Ronaldo in Juventus because I think he's uh, like... Uh, what's the word? Uh, I'm searching for words to say something. Accommodating? Is that even worth? He is getting used to Italian league and yeah, he, he still hasn't scored in Serie A, but it's Cristiano Ronaldo. He's one of the best players ever, so they've got him and they've got a lot of other great players. They've got Dybala, they've got Pjanic, they've got, uh, who else, Mandzukic, uh, they've got just amazing assortment of players. So Juventus is gonna be first. They were in the finals. Le Le no, was it last year? Oh my gosh, who was in the finals? Real Madrid beat who? Was Juventus? Oh my gosh, I'm blanking, I think it was. Anyway, Juventus is gonna be first and I would really like to back Manchester United, my boys. <sighs> this is tough. I, I, I think I'm gonna go with Valencia just because at, right at, at this moment, United is just bad. It's just bad. They don't know what they're doing. They're struggling in the middle. Nobody's scoring goals. The, at the back, they're just a shamble. Like, they are all over the place. So, because I'm doing the, the predictions right now, I'm saying Juventus first, Valencia second, Manchester United third, and they're gonna go to Europa League then. 
and I'm sorry young boys, but you're gonna be fourth. So those were my predictions for UEFA Championship League 2018 slash 19. Tell me yours, your, yours, tell me, hey, tell me your predictions in the comments down below. Who do you think is gonna win the group stages? Who's gonna be the best in the group stages? Who's gonna win at the end? If you ask me, I think it's gonna be between, I think this year an English club is gonna win. Who is this or who's gonna be, you tell me. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, share this video all over the place, click that bell icon to get notified when I upload and I see you next time.